Greetings, Daily Dose. You might notice that this uh, video looks very similar to the previous video, this so far at least. We're going to look at the first part of 13.7. And since this syntax was so complicated, I wanted to take this opportunity to, to show you how the accents can help. Now, I have to admit, this is not the only way to read this verse. I think the syntax can make a lot of sense reading it grammatically. That's totally fine. But I want to show you how the accents can help with things like this. So what I'm going to do is break the verse at these disjunctive accents. Now, some of these disjuncts, in fact, the ones that I'm uh, circling now, are some of the weakest disjunctive accents, meaning they, they you only find them in longer verses. And indeed, this is a longer verse. We get the tabir here is another one. The revia is another disjunctive, but that one's pretty heavy. And then the tifcha here is the heaviest one. And what I hope to show you is how we come down and pick up this prepositional phrase related to the verb and not related to something here previous to it. And the accents can help with that, especially with this tifcha. So uh, if we break the verse up, we get something that looks a little bit like this. Now I've indented these a little bit. And what you can see here is we have this big noun phrase that we had uh, previously marked off in the video. Uh, your brother, the son of your mother, conjunctive accent here runs these together, or your son or your daughter. Then we get the garish right there that gives us another break in the verse, or the wife of your bosom, the wife you embrace. And then here's our revia. This is a bigger accent break, but we get next an or, another or. So, so we've got to keep this noun phrase together. So I'm going to stop there. I think you can see how that has worked out. And then grammatically, we get the relative clause that refers back to this friend, the friend who is, uh, who is as your own soul, so a close friend. And notice all of this is, is subordinate to the verb, and we haven't come back to this prepositional phrase yet. But Notice the tifcha right here, this tifcha right here. That is the heavy accent in this verse, and the tifcha has to occur on either the first word or the second word in front of the athnach. And so notice here, because the prepositional phrase here is linked previously up to the verb, we get the tifcha then on the second word in front of the athnach. So we wouldn't say, who is as your soul in secret, and lump all this together. Rather, we get something that looks like this, where in secret actually refers back here to the verb. So if any of these people entice you in secret, saying, and then we're going to get the rest of it. So a little bit of a bonus video there today, a little bit longer, but I wanted to show you how those accents can be helpful. Not required, but can be helpful.